All right, so I haven't been able to do much lately, um, but what one thing I can say is we have new life. We have a chick uh, hatched. It is our second one. The first one that hatched didn't survive, but um, this one is strong, and um, hopefully we can get some more because it's the only one, so right now it's by itself, but I'm pretty excited. I've been recovering. Uh, can't do too much, can't walk around, can't put any pressure on my leg. I had full ACL re uh, reconstruction, I had some meniscus work done, so uh, they're not having me put any pressure on it for like four to six weeks. So um, everything's on, everyone else is back, and they're doing a great job, but I'm um, getting a little itchy, that's for sure. We are super excited to have life on the farm. Um, on a homestead, you have life and you have death. Right now, we're able to celebrate life. Um, spring is coming. We're going to have our garden going. We're, we're going to be having more chicks. We're, we're, we're going to be bringing more animals onto the farm. Um, so we're just, at this time, we're just excited to see the abundance of what, what, what we can grow and what we can have on this farm. So. Really excited. Everyone's pulling together while I'm not able to do anything. It's just good to see, you know, everyone working together. And this was the whole, whole plan for us to be living together under one house. We will help each other out, whether it's with the kids or the, our homestead. You know, we're trying to um, create a business and we're trying to create a, a, a farmstead where we can have abundance for ourselves and um, make money um, so maybe one day we don't have to go to our regular jobs so we're pretty excited to see what's going to happen this spring um, so stay tuned we're, we're definitely going to keep you updated all right so what we're going to do now is run a few tests to see if this is going to be a rooster or a hen first test we're going to do is it's see its wing feather length if they all line up, that it's a, means rooster. It's a, hen. It's a hen. If the front ones are longer than the others, it's a rooster. The second one we're going to do is we're going to hang it by the, its neck skin. And if it just hangs there, it's a rooster. And if it kicks, it's a hen. We're also going to hold it on its back. And it will be the same thing. If it just lays there, it's a rooster. And if it kicks, it's a hen. The last thing we're going to do is to look at its vent. I've never done that before. Ew. But if there's a bump in its vent, that's its penis. Ew. And obviously, it's a rooster. Alright, so the wing one. Let's spread them out. And as you can tell, you got long ones right here, and these are the short ones. So this test, I'm going to call it a rooster. Alright, the second test we're going to do is I'm going to hold it by the back of its neck skin. And if it just lays its legs down and it doesn't kick, that means it's going to be, that's, it's going to probably say it's a rooster. <laughs> And that does not hurt them. Another test we can, we can do is we hold it on its back. I hold it on its back, and if it just lays there, it's a rooster. He, Daddy, he wakes me sleeping. <laughs> All right, now the last test we're gonna do is check its vent. Now, beep, 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 this one you got to be a little careful about because you don't want to squeeze it too hard. What you're going to do is try to squeeze the vent and you're going to try to open it up to see if it has a little bump. If it has a little bump, that's the, his penis. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, so what you're going to do, you're going to open it up slightly, and you're going to squeeze. Daddy. Okay. <laughs> that is so cool. And you can see that bump right there. So that's a rooster. So I'm going to say this is a rooster. Mm. Alright, so with all those tests, oh, I am yeah. going to say that this is a rooster. I've never done the vent test before. That was the first time I ever did the vent. But I have done the hanging one, the feathers, and the back, and I've always it's always gone back and forth. Now, the vent one, I'm pretty sure that was the bump. Um, like I said, that was never the this is the first time I've done that one. Um, but we will see. The other thing we could do is wait like three weeks and see if it has a crown. It starts to grow. If it has a crown, then it's definitely a rooster.